Welcome to this short video on respiration. Now, a lot of people mix up breathing with respiration. Uh, breathing is not respiration. The correct term for sucking air into your lungs and pushing it out again is ventilation. Okay, so breathing is ventilation. Respiration is a chemical reaction that happens in all your cells. Here's the word equation and the symbol equation. And this is the balance symbol equation. This important reaction takes place in uh, things called the mitochondria. <clears throat> in the cell, one of the organelles, one of the parts of the cell is called the mitochondria, and that's where respiration takes place. And cells that require a lot of energy, like those in muscle tissue, have a lot of mitochondria, as you'd expect. <clears throat> uh, like other chemical reactions, respiration can take place at different rates. Um, when you hear of people who have a high metabolism, it means that respiration is happening quickly, and vice versa. Um, we can determine the rate of respiration by measuring the rate of oxygen consumption. So how quickly do we use oxygen? If we use oxygen very, very quickly, that's a pretty good sign that you're respiring very fast and you have a high metabolism. Um, you could also do it with uh, a measure of how quickly you produce carbon dioxide. And that's called indirect calorimetry. From this, you can plug your numbers into an equation and calculate something called the respiratory quotient. This is your carbon dioxide produced divided by your oxygen used. The main thing this tells us is what fuel our bodies are using. So is our body using mainly glucose for respiration or is it using a lot of fat for respiration? <clears throat> if it's using glucose, then your RQ, your respiratory quotient, quotient will be one. When we exercise, our cells need more energy, so they must respire faster. This means there's an increased demand for oxygen and glucose, and the waste products have to be removed faster. So there's a big demand for oxygen and glucose. Your muscles are crying out for oxygen and glucose in order to respire faster. How does your body achieve this? How does your body get that oxygen and glucose to your muscles? Well, it increases heart rate. Increased heart rate means that blood can get to those cells faster, an increased breathing rate gets oxygen into the blood and carbon dioxide out of the blood quicker as well. So these are sort of physiological changes that um, mean that you can deliver these, these um, reactants to the cells of your body quicker. One measure of how fit a person is, is how quickly does their heart rate return to normal. So if you've got your heart rate up to 150 BPM and then you sit in a chair and very quickly goes back to normal, you're probably quite fit, but if it takes five or six minutes for your heart rate to get back to normal, then it probably means that you're not. Um, <clears throat> but what does that actually mean? What does the word fitness really mean? Well, if you can carry out your daily tasks and live a fairly active life without any problems, you're probably fit. So what does healthy mean? Healthy just means free of disease, that's all. You haven't got any diseases. Now, during very hard exercise, when you just can't supply enough oxygen to your muscles, they'll begin to respire anaerobically. So, respiration without oxygen. The product of this reaction is lactic acid, which builds up in our muscles and causes us pain and fatigue. We've all experienced lactic acid build up in your, in your muscles. After the exercise, the lactic acid has to be broken down because it's poisonous. Anaerobic respiration produces far less energy per glucose molecule than aerobic respiration. Some microorganisms like yeast can use anaerobic respiration to produce alcohol and carbon dioxide. When you make bread, the carbon dioxide gives you the air bubbles that give you that nice spongy texture and the alcohol evaporates off in the heat. Okay, here are some questions. Pause the video, have a go at them, check your answers. Um, and if you found this video helpful, hit the like button or leave a comment. Thank you very much for listening.